anywhere. Memorial Day weekend. It's about honoring those who gave their lives for America. How the Marines at 29 Palms are spending their weekend. And two alligator hunters doing work that would make Steve Irwin proud. And as we get ready to observe Memorial Day, our troops in Iraq face one of their bloodiest weekends ever. CBS 2 News at 6 starts right now. More news, more often. Live from the desert's news station, this is CBS 2 News at 6. And thanks for joining us tonight on CBS 2. I'm David Wohl, in for Tom Tucker, who has the evening off. Memorial Day weekend is upon us as we gather to honor United States servicemen and women. CBS 2's Kelly Ward headed up to the 29 Palms Marine Base to speak with some of the Marines about what this holiday means to them. Kelly? David, we wanted to hear about the true meaning of Memorial Day from the men and women who actually serve our nation. Across the country, this is the day we honor the men and women who have served our nation. It's a special day for all of us, but it's especially meaningful for those who still fight to preserve our freedom. It has uh, more of a spiritual depth to it now that I've, I've joined the military and I have friends and stuff in Iraq. And, and I think I listen more to, to the older gentlemen who have, who have already served. So it has more of a meaning spiritually to me than, than just a day off school. Lance Corporal Sean Spittler has only been enlisted for a year and a half, but now when he meets a vet on the street, he listens intently as they share their stories with the new recruit. His wife feels a difference in her patriotism as well. You become a part of it. It, it brings you closer to what an American is. Gunnery Sergeant John Shu has been a Marine for 20 years and he's done three tours in Iraq. It's a special time for his family when they can share a holiday with him at home. We're glad to have him home with us, uh, to spend time with us, knowing there's a you know, big chance that he's liable to go back again. So we, we share every moment that we possibly can with each other. As his wife and kids celebrate him with love, other patriotic Americans even came out to the park today to celebrate our Marines with cold, hard cash. There was an older couple that asked if we were in the military, and he said, thank you very much. And he walked over there to talk to them and came back and they handed us all $50 a piece. And how does this appreciation feel? People are gracious in this country for what we do. Does it make So however you choose to show your appreciation, whether it be with cold hard cash or just with a verbal thank you, be sure to get out and celebrate this weekend. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kelly Ward, CBS2, the desert's news station. Thanks, Kelly. Well, millions of people are hitting the road from Memorial Day to kick off the summer travel season, but not everyone is leaving town. More than 6,000 visitors will end up right here in the valley. CBS 2's Kimberly Chang has more. The people are coming from all over the place into Palm Springs to enjoy high temperatures for Memorial Weekend. Go to Palm Springs and gamble on your way. <laughs> this woman from Wisconsin is off to a good start. She won $1,000 at a local casino. Even though they didn't win any money, others consider themselves lucky to be in 90 degree weather. It's raining in Chicago the next five days, so uh, it's paradise here. Hotel Zoso says they are already sold out. Their Memorial Day weekend revenue has increased by $40,000. Also, the angel hair pasta with tomato sauce. And the hotel's food and beverage sales have doubled. We've seen an incredible uptick. Um, we're getting three days as opposed to two. It used to be Saturday and Sunday in the market. Looks like we're going to get a three-day sellout, which is really significant for us. So why are so many people checking in? Sun, yeah. fun, cool. Oh, yeah. I get to bring my dog here. It's great. Good. Bunch of R&R. &R. Uh, my boyfriend's a Marine, and he's stationed at 29 Palms. He's said that this is one of the prettiest places he'd ever been. We had some drinks, ate some good Mexican food, so we're loving it. This is a good time. <laughs> Do you want to go back home? <laughs> Hot weather, some rest and relaxation. That's why so many people are choosing Palm Springs for Memorial Weekend. Oh, and did I mention it's a whole lot of fun too. In Palm Springs, Kimberly Chang, CBS2, the desert's news station. And for those of you getting ready for those backyard barbecues or poolside R&R, &R, Jody Kodesh is here with a look at your Memorial Day weekend temperatures. Jody. 
Thank you, David. Okay, folks, before we get to the Memorial Day part, I know you're all waiting for, we're going to take a look at those temperatures outside currently. We've got a whole lot of 97s right down the center of the valley. Look at that. Barstow at 97, the same in Palm Springs, Thermal and Imperial, 98 in Blythe, where it's the hottest spot in the nation today. Okay, so Blythe brought it home. We're very warm here, and we're going to continue to be. Now, tomorrow, we're going to see triple digits, 100 degrees, fabulously warm though because it's beautiful. We've got plenty of sunshine for I know a lot of people hitting the pools this weekend and celebrating the holiday. Here's what we have going on. We have high pressure and control. You see it there. Now it is going to expand over the next couple of days. So what we're going to be seeing is an increase in our sunshine as if we could do that anymore. We're going to be seeing a little bit of fog along the coast though. That's going to be the case. So if you're heading to the beach, might be a little foggy in the morning and in the evenings. But here in the desert, we're looking at dry, sunny and warm through your Memor Memorial Day holiday. So I know for a lot of you may be hosting parties even. This is very good news. I'll have more good news coming up a little later in the broadcast. Back to you, David. Thank you, Jody. An update tonight on a robbery that took place at a Walmart in Palm Desert yesterday. Three suspects were involved in the heist, with one actually stealing the merchandise, another looking as a lookout, and a third using the getaway car. A Palm Desert police officer apprehended one suspect, 29-year-old Kenneth Stewart of Desert Hot Springs. Two other suspects remain at large. Their vehicle is described as a red Ford Ranger with tinted windows. If you have any information, you're urged to call the Palm Desert PD at 836-1600. Well, Senator John McCain is taking the race for the White House to the race track. The Republican candidate from Arizona will serve as the honorary starter for the Coca-Cola 600 this weekend at Lowe's Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Tennessee Governor Phil Bredenson, actress Jessica Alba, and singer Leanne Rimes will be among the honored guests at that race. And Hillary Clinton received quite a response on YouTube in an attempt to appeal to younger voters, Clinton is asking YouTube viewers to pick her campaign theme song. The final 10 were released this week. They range from U2's Beautiful Day to Smash Mouth's version of I'm a Believer to Celine Dion's You and I. According to The View, there has been 500,000 viewers of Hillary Clinton's first video. The Clinton campaign says they will release the final result in the coming days. While still ahead on CBS 2 this Saturday evening, the nation's midsection is still getting belted with storms. And a mother serving in Iraq gets some devastating news from back home. Plus, amazing alligator captures caught on tape. On Memorial Day, a B-25 Mitchell bomber will fly high over the Palm Springs Air Museum. I'm Chris Long. Monday, we'll tell you why the fighter plane will drop hundreds of flowers and also special messages. Also see why researchers say exercise may do more than make you feel good. It may actually reverse the aging process. That's Monday on CBS 2 News at 5. Hope you'll join us. Monday on the Valley's only live arts and entertainment program did the premiere of Pirates Outdo Spider-Man. You'll find out. Monday at 7 on the Desert, CBS 2. Designed for the extraordinary. Visit your local Land Rover Center. It's Legacy's biggest sale of the season, and it's happening now. So enter a world of exceptional style and save big on the desert's most inspiring collection of designer furniture and accessories. You'll find amazing values on sofas, sectionals, bedrooms, and more. All from the industry's top designers, and same-day delivery means you get it fast. It's Legacy's biggest sell of the season. Don't you miss it. Legacy, designer furniture for less. Welcome to Spencer's Restaurant. Now, offering gift cards. CBS 2 News is presented in part by Legacy Designer Furniture. 
Welcome back. A four-year-old Chicago boy was allegedly beaten to death by his mother's boyfriend while she served in Iraq. Police say Donnell Parker was taking care of the toddler while his mother was in Iraq. Investigators say Parker repeatedly beat the toddler over a two-day period. Autopsy results show Cameron suffered blunt force trauma to his midsection and head. Parker has now been charged with first-degree murder, and the boy's mother is on her way home. A sad homecoming at that. U.S. military reports that eight American troops, seven soldiers, and one Marine have been killed in bombings and ambush and shootings in Iraq. The deaths bring to total to 100, the number of U.S. forces killed in May, putting it on course to be one of the deadliest months for American troops in years. This is a good catch right before the holiday weekend. Well, two pesky alligators caused havoc in a Miami Lakes, Florida neighborhood. The gators came up a canal and worried residents for several days. The search of the large reptiles started Tuesday. The search ended yesterday when a gator trapper captured an 8-foot female and a 10-foot male with bait traps. Houston residents got a drenching this afternoon that put a damper on their holiday plans, no doubt about that. Thunderstorms moved across much of the eastern part of that state. Temperatures remained within the 80s for much of the afternoon. The rains, however, did not compare with the storms that hit central Texas over the past few days. Five people died around the area in flooded and washed out roadway conditions. Well, still ahead on CBS2 this Saturday evening, Jody Kodesh has a look at tonight's temperatures. Thank you, David. That's right. Tonight, we can't ignore the beautiful weather we're seeing in our evenings. 70 degrees overnight tonight, clear and warm, very light wind activity, so it's a beauty. You're going to want to get outside and sit out on the patio this evening. You've got nice weather coming the next couple of days as well. I'll have your Memorial Day forecast right after the break. Don't go anywhere. This summer, a crew of 16 will set sail on this pirate ship. Every week, they'll search for and find buried gold treasure. Everybody wants to look at a map and see the big X and dig. Real cutthroat. I am evil. Real danger. To be a good pirate, you gotta be cruel. A real high seas adventure, guaranteed to kick booty. <laughs> pirate Master premieres CBS Thursday at 8, 7 central. Watch your back. Discover supreme natural beauty in just 10 minutes aboard the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. The other Palm Springs. Madison and Company's sale of the store did not go through, so this is your good fortune because we'll be closing the doors forever. This is the last chance to buy a store's 30-year lineage of fine jewelry and watches. View the largest collection of fine jewelry in the desert, some up to 60% off. Diamonds, sapphires, and rubies, all shapes and sizes. A large selection of Rolex, Patek, Piaget, and other fine Swiss watches discounted to sell. A Palm Springs landmark is now your lifetime opportunity before we close forever at Madison and Company, Palm Springs. The most fuel-efficient automobile company in America, Honda. I'm cruising through the valley in my Honda. And right now, every new 2007 Honda is red tagged with the lowest possible selling prices. Only at Unicars Honda or Honda of the Desert. New 07 Honda Civics, Accord, CRVs, Pilots, red tag. Honda Elements, Ridgelines, the new Fit, even the hybrids. Every Honda, red tag. This weekend from Honda of the Desert or Unicars Honda. When you think new, think Honda. The CBS2 News Tram Cam is brought to you by the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. Welcome back to your CBS2 News. I'm Jody Kodish giving you this lovely Memorial Day weekend weather cast. You're going to really like the next five days. We like this view outside. It's a little hazy, but we are plenty of sunshine today. Lots of sun out there and we're really feeling the heat. In fact, I want to take a look right now at the Almanac and show you exactly what temperatures we saw today. We saw a daytime high today of 98 degrees, so right on tap for where we should be. Pretty much picture perfect. The record was 114 very hot degrees set back in 1951. We saw an overnight low last night of a very mild, in fact a little warm, 70 degrees, 5 degrees above where we should be. The record for the coldest temperature, 45 degrees set back in 1953. So in 53, we were very cold that night. Not too bad. Not looking cold compared to the rest of the nation that night. 97 right now. 
along much of the Central Valley. So we're seeing 97 in Barstow, Palm Springs, Thermal. Now we've got a little bit of cooler temperatures along the coast, 61 in Los Angeles, 75 in Riverside. Got 98 degrees right now in Blythe, so very warm still at the east end of the valley. And our wind speeds are very, very light too. So as we take a look at these wind speeds, Riverside right now just a nice breeze and the same in 29 Palms, but everywhere else here in the valley looking very, very nice. In fact, I know yes. with the heat we've been feeling, we would probably want to be seeing a little bit more wind right now, but we're not going to get it, I don't think, the next couple of days. 58 degrees right now in Minneapolis, 65 in Chicago, 80 in D.C. right now, so quite warm over much of the East Coast. Now, much of the East Coast right now has got high pressure and control, very, very dry, although I know that in Florida and Georgia they could really use the rain right about now. 80 degrees in Atlanta, 77 in Miami. We've got 67 in Denver, 95 very warm degrees in Phoenix, and Los Angeles at 60 degrees currently. Where was the hot spot and where was the cold spot today? Here's your national extreme temperatures. Blythe, California, you saw it, the hottest spot in the nation. They were 98 right now, but they dropped down from 99, and that gave them the title. Shirley Basin, Wyoming, 24 degrees in the coldest spot on the map last night. We have high pressure and control, like I've been saying, that's what's showing us these very hot temperatures and plenty of sunshine. You can see it here, we've got just a lot of space over much of the west coast, California, just soaking in the rays. And I'm going to show you real quick as we take a look at the analysis, what's going to happen the next couple of days. So we're not going to see a big change as high pressure is going to stay in control, but as it strengthens through the weekend, our temperatures are going to stay pretty much where they have been. So if you like the weather we're seeing so far this week, you're really going to like your Memorial Day holiday. Dry, sunny and warm, but along the coast, we're going to continue to see a little bit of morning and nighttime fog. So if you're heading to the beach for your holiday, you will see sunshine, but not till later in the afternoon. If you're staying here, we're looking pretty nice. Overnight tonight, we're going to be seeing an overnight low of a very warm 70 degrees. So very mild, clear and warm. Winds from the east 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, three very popular destinations this time of year for Memorial Day travels, Las Vegas, Lake Havasu, and Newport Beach. If you're heading to any of those places, these are the conditions you can expect. A sunny 98 degrees in Las Vegas, Lake Havasu 104, so very hot. High 66, so a little cooler along the coast with some fog over in Newport. I just explained that. And then tomorrow, if you're staying here, here's what we're looking at. Fabulously warm, I'm calling it fabulous because this is pretty much what we expect. Picture perfect weather for here in the desert. 100 degrees, winds from the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then here goes that five-day forecast. We're looking at 100, and we're going to stick not too far from that. We're looking at 98 on your Memorial Day. So at least we're not looking at the extreme triple, triple digits. It's looking like perfect swimming weather, perfect barbecue weather. I'm telling you, though, because of this heat, and I know a lot of you are probably here visiting, you're going to want to make sure you stay hydrated. And I'm not talking about adding some ice to your margarita. I'm talking about drinking water when you're out partying with the family. This absolutely, you know, you, you gotta know. stay you gotta healthy. The water, the alcohol dehydrates you. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Cold and cloudy at the beach. It's gorgeous here. I'll take it here. Right I'm up. gonna stay here too. That's yep. right. I'm with you. Absolutely. Thank you, Joni. Thanks a lot, Appreciate David. that very much. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up next on your CBS2 Sports, we'll take a sneak peek at our own Palm Springs Power baseball team as they open the summer season this week. Don't miss Mathis Brothers end of season showroom sample sell off now in progress. Save up to 60% on top brands like Marge Carson, Lexington and Century. It's our annual end of season sample liquidation. Quite simply our lowest prices of the year on our best brands. And right now you can enjoy it because it's in stock ready for immediate pickup or delivery. Save extra on custom orders too. Now through July 8th only at Mathis Brothers. Mathis Brothers Furniture. Homeowners, did you know that painting your house every few years can cost up to $80,000 over the life of your home? Stop throwing your money away and put an end to painting your house forever with Texcoat Super Coat. Texcoat is a specially formulated coating that's warranted for as long as you own your home. Because it's applied up to 20 times thicker than paint, it will never chip, flake, or peel. It even hides minor wall imperfections, rejuvenating your home's appearance. Here's what paint did for this home. Now look at it after Texcoat Super Coat was applied. It's patented double armor protection even stops water from penetrating its surface. Plus, its scientifically advanced finish resists fading while reflecting the sun's heat, helping provide energy savings. Add that to the thousands of dollars you'll save painting every few years, and Texcoat is your best value in exterior finishes. So call the number on your screen now and put an end to the cost and trouble of painting forever. Affordathon is back at 
Fiesta Ford Lincoln Mercury. And better than ever. With brand new 07 F 150s. Just $14,490. $14,490. F 150 Super Cruise. Just $23,490. Or get 0% financing. And Fiesta always has more than 200 new Ford trucks and SUVs in stock. A Ford Athon is back only at Fiesta. The only Ford Lincoln Mercury dealer in Southern California. Open for service seven days a week. F I E S T A. It's a better way. Welcome back. Only 12 hours after ruining the night of many Cubs fans, the Dodgers found themselves out of magic this afternoon, attempting another late-inning comeback. Cubs hitters decided to let their bats do the talking today in Los Angeles. Aramis Ramirez and Mark DeRosa played back-to-back -back long ball in the top half of the second, handing Mark Hendrickson his second loss of the season, 4-2. The Dodgers send Randy Wolf to the mound tomorrow in Game 3. And for you Angels fans like myself, the beatdown in the Bronx continued this afternoon as the Angels took care of the struggling Yankees 3-1. to one. Calvin Escobar recorded his sixth win of the year while ending Derek Jeter's 19-game hitting streak. The series wraps up tomorrow night in New York as Anaheim goes for the sweep. John Lackey is expected on the mound tomorrow for the Halos. And back here in the desert, it's almost time to head out to the ball game. Palm Springs Power Baseball opens its 2007 summer season this week. Kate Longworth joins us now with more. Well, it's opening week for our Palm Springs Power Baseball team, so I wanted to get the inside scoop on what's entailed for this season. And so I asked the Palm Springs Power owner, Andrew Starkey, and manager for the third year in the road, Esteban Valencia, to join me today. And guys, what can we look forward to for this 2007 season? Well, I think it's going to be our best season uh, by far on the field. We've got some of the most talented players in the country coming out to play for us. And uh, from a promotional standpoint, every night's going to be something at the ballpark. So come out, have a great time. And we do have so many players coming from all around the country. And they need somewhere to stay when they're here in the desert. Talk to me about the host family program that you have. Well, what we do is uh, we ask the community to open their doors. If they have an extra bedroom, a guest casita, uh, doesn't matter, uh, give us a call at the office uh, and we'll set them up with a ball player or even an intern if they're not comfortable having a young man. We do have young ladies from around the country, all college students that uh, come out here. We can't pay our players to play, to play for us, so we help provide them food, transportation, and then housing with the host families. They build uh, great long-term relationships. And if they have kids, it's, a, it's another positive role model in their lives. And I understand there's still a few slots left on the roster. On Monday the 28th, we are having open tryouts. So Skip, what are you looking for in those players who are going to be coming out there to try out for your team? You know, we're just basically looking for uh, guys that might be able to fill some roles for us. Uh, as we get ready to start the season, our complete roster isn't there yet. Uh, guys are still finishing up their college seasons. Uh, guys are playing in the NCAA regionals. We might need an extra pitcher. We might need an extra catcher. Uh, maybe an infielder or an outfielder. Last two summers we've had uh, a good group of guys come out and try out and we've actually picked a couple of kids and, and they stuck for the whole summer. Great and then Friday is opening night so let's kind of do this two different ways. What can we expect from the promotional way and then let's see what we're going to expect from this team on their first day together. On the field you can expect us to come out and play hard again like we always do. We go out there, the guys do a great job, uh, they represent Palm Springs uh, as best as they can. You know we make sure that they're they're ready to play, that they're having fun, that they're, it's an exciting game, uh, and hopefully we'll get a win that night. From a promotional standpoint, we're going to have over 50 giveaways. Um, you come out to the ballpark, you get a program, there's a very good chance you're going to win something uh, that's valued higher than your cost of admission into the ballpark. Every night we always do our dollar beer specials. We uh, have upgraded our misting system. We now have the largest misting system in the entire Coachella Valley. So the coolest place to be uh, in the Valley outdoors will be Palm Springs Stadium. And the three of us are already penciled in. We will be out there, as will the competitive Palm Springs Power Baseball players, and we hope you'll join us too. But for now, I send it back to you guys. Thank you, Kate. And if you're interested in heading out to see our local baseball squad, you can do so this Friday through Sunday when the Power takes on the San Diego Blackjacks. Admission is $6 for adults, $5 for seniors and kids, or you can get the Power ticket for $10, which gets you in the door with the program, hot dog and dessert. Remember, Palm Springs does have sunshade and mister systems. For additional information, you can visit their web website at palmspringspowerbaseball.com. Jody's up next with a look at your Memorial Day weekend weather forecast. Plus, it's a great travel destination if you want to see some alien abductions. We'll explain that coming up next. 
This year I learned man is not an island unto himself. There's room for at least one more person. The Rolex Yachtmaster. The year it takes to make one is nothing compared to the time it takes to deserve one. Leeds and Son Fine Jewelers on El Paseo, your official Rolex jeweler. Express. It's right now. Rooms Express gigantic Memorial Day sale. Join us as we celebrate Rooms Express, the West Coast number one furniture company with tremendous savings throughout the store. Like this gorgeous seven-piece package. Includes the sofa, love seat, coffee, and end tables, even the lamps. Only $11.98 complete. Or this three-piece queen better dual reclining microfiber sofa. Your choice, only $3.98. Plus no interest till 2009. Come in today and see why Rooms Express is number one. Giving you so much more I Welcome to Spencer's Restaurant. Now, offering gift cards. The biggest automotive sales event of the holiday weekend can only be found at the 111 Auto Center, where you'll find huge savings across the board on every new 07 and nearly 1,000 used vehicles, plus live radio, prizes, and drawings for trips. It's the 111 Auto Center's huge Memorial Weekend sales event. We're out to sell 500 vehicles, and it's the giant discounts that will get the job done. Don't miss it. This weekend only at your best in the West, 111 Auto Center dealers, Perez and 111 in Cathedral City. Save more with the bottom line every day, every time. Hi, I'm Patricia Sullivan, and this is my son, Mark. For the last 15 years, you have invited Sullivan Shutters into your home. It's about time we show you into ours. Our signature shutters are made locally, manufactured using state-of-the-art technology, coupled with fine hand craftsmanship. Whether your home needs custom shutters for windows of any size or a specific color you may have in mind, Sullivan Shutters is beautifully affordable and guaranteed for life. Sullivan Shutters, owned and operated right here in the Coachella Valley. Call us for a free in-home estimate. Welcome back. A new amusement park will offer guests an out-of-this-world experience, so to speak, in Roswell, New Mexico. City officials have approved a UFO-themed amusement park. It'll be complete with an indoor roller coaster that would take passengers on a simulated alien abduction. The park, called Alien Apex Resort, could open as early as 2010. Businesses have been cashing in on the alien phenomenon for years. Even the McDonald's and Walmart there are space-themed. Alien believers say a UFO crashed on a ranch in Roswell in 1947. The military, however, claims it was a top secret weather balloon. Whatever that is. I don't know. Ooh. Jody. Yeah, I mean, a top secret weather balloon. Do we have those top secret weather balloons here at CBS2? We don't have the top secret ones, but we've got the normal ones that give us those temperatures. I was going to say really quick, you know, they're talking about that alien theme. Right. Last week, we had a really, sh really pretty shot of the moon, and Venus was right next to it in the air. And what happened was the officials started getting all these calls saying that people thought there was a UFO in the sky because they didn't know, they weren't used to seeing Venus that wow. bright shining up in the sky. I wish I had known. Our, our weekend outlook, we're looking there at the burger. I can smell it already. We're going to be warm tomorrow, 100 degrees, and your Memorial Day holiday, 98 degrees. So we're going to fall below that triple digit mark for Memorial Day. It's going to be fabulous weather, not a lot of wind, perfect for swimming. Be safe on your Memorial Day holiday and enjoy it. They say May, June, cloudy to noon, not here. It's beautiful all day. It's gorgeous here. All right, thanks for joining us so much. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. First impressions last forever. The doors on your home say a lot about you. Elegance, beauty, and first appearance. When it comes to fine doors and gates, no one can match Su Casa Mexican Imports. The Bustamante family is proud to announce the finest craftsmanship in solid wood doors and outdoor gates. All handmade. If you are in the market for doors, gates, or handmade furniture and accessories, you need to stop by Su Casa Mexican Imports. It's Su Casa Mexican Imports, Perez Road in Cathedral City. In the heart of Cathedral City.
Power Stride in Palm Desert has brand new Fair Play cars for just $59.95. Fair Play golf cars equipped with 10-inch tires and wheels, recessed lights, turn signals, a horn, and a 5.5 horsepower 48-volt motor. This baby does 22 miles per hour for only $59.95. Fair Play golf cars in assorted colors with beautiful wood grain accents. Also reconditioned club cars, custom, lifted, and high-performance cars too. Power Stride golf cars in Palm Desert, 674.